I leave in January, so I have about six months more to go after this. And I have, like, like all, everyone told me Syria is the best place. I mean, I don't know if I'm biased now, but Syria is the best place to learn Arabic. Um, every single, I've been living in the old city, and every single day, people, even though my, my Arabic is getting better, but it's nowhere near perfect, and people are talking to me, working with me, struggle and everything. And, um, consequently, I have been able to, I know like in our um, Arabic lessons in the morning, I actually knew the professor from uh, Jamia Jamesha, and so I like kind of like help teach our little section, and there's like the other people just learning the alphabet, and it's also really interesting because I can listen to when the Syrians joke around, and I can understand things that they might like, or pick up on things, and then <laughs> just some lack of translation on the American part, and it's, it's quite hilarious. I have English translations. I can't like think of one off the top of my head, but it's just like certain like little side comments that, because I mean, not, we all, from America, we all come with very different experiences. Some of us have never learned a single letter of the Arabic alphabet, whereas it's Others um, come from uh, or have Arab descent, so they grew up speaking Arabic in their families. And so there will be just little, or like some, <laughs> Greg is one of his, <laughs> um, never spoken Arabic before, but it's very, it's so encouraging, at least for me, to see, like, you've been trying, but then sometimes you'll mispronounce a word or some few things, and the word that's mispronounced or misspoken has a completely different meaning in Arabic than it does in what is orig he's originally trying to say. But, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like the joker of the group um, was trying to say that he likes oranges. And he was like, was like, oh, hibu, and it was a complete fusa. And he was like, oh, hibu, Portugal. Um, and we were like, <laughs> <laughs> we're like oh, um, <laughs> okay. And it was sort of like out of the middle of nowhere. He's like, yes, 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 oh, hibu, Portugal, Portugal, yes. Portugal, and he was trying to say um, that he likes the oranges, and instead he just keeps saying that he like like Portugal. And instead he kept saying I like Portugal. So we, all of us Americans, we're over here, we're over here cracking up dying because he has no idea what's going on. I guess basically all I can say is that I have never been more welcomed in a place in my entire life. I feel more, I've come, I was from, traveled the United States, um, visited many other countries, and Syria, I have to say, by far, has been the most welcoming, the most safest, and the most hospitable place I've ever visited in my entire life. And I encourage everyone, from little, little kids to um, my grandma and grandpa, to come here and to experience the same welcoming and hospitality that I have received from not just this program, but from the Syrian population in general. I'm a person who has traveled a lot, not only in the United States, but in the world. I didn't find a support for the Syrian population. And I encourage my family, the young people in the age of 20, to come and visit Syria and to the Syrian population. ليس فقط من خلال البرنامج تبعنا ولكن هذا الترحيب موجود في البلد يعني دائما مثل ما قالت سيبرا انه شافت حاله من الضيافه الموجوده هون بتدعي اهلا نحن بندعي لاهلا وبدعي كل الشباب الامريكي وبالعالم كله انه يجي على سوريا يشوفوا سوريا قديش مضيافه واهلا دائما بيرحبوا باي شخص بيجي بزورهم في حدا حابب يقول ككلمه اخيره نختم فيها برنامج تفضل رامي تعقيبا على سؤالك شو بميز هذا البرنامج أنا بشجع كل شخص يفوت على موقع الإنترنت تبعنا لأنه في عنا شيء اسمه بلوجين اللي فيه الطلاب عم يكتبوا بشكل يومي خبراتهم مش عم بيدوموا شو ساووا عم يحكوا على مشاعرهم خبراتهم كيف تغيرت أفكارهم وبحطوا الصور ومقاطع فيديو اللي فيها بيدوموا شو ساووا وهي فكرة منيحة حتى أي شخص يتعرف على البرنامج ويقيس ويفهم تغيير وجهة نظر المشترك الأمريكي في هذا البرنامج أكيد بنهاية درتاجتنا عم نشكرك رامي نصير مدير المؤسسة الأمريكية العربية لأعداد قناة المستقبل أهلا وسهلا فيك دور أغلى الشباب كان دي أشكر الشباب الأمريكي إن كان موجود لما نرى أهلا وسهلا فيكم في سوريا وأيضا نشكر الشباب السوري أهلا وسهلا فيكم وشرفتونا جمعا شكرا شكرا لكم شكرا لكم وأكيد شكر كبير للشباب اللي تابعونا فقراتنا مستمرة معكم لكن بعد هالفاصل الصغير